Hi, this is Kelly Nightlinger with Wild Woman Outdoors, and I'm here today at a brook on my own property in Epofet, on Epofet Bay in Michigan. My property sits with a sand bluff with numerous seepages that drain down into Lake Michigan from those hillside seepages or artesian springs. And it's a very cold water and it's clear water and it actually is a host to Michigan's most endangered flower, which is the Michigan monkey flower. And it is extremely endangered in Michigan and is also endangered in the country. And it only thrives in a few places in Michigan. And I'll talk to you briefly a little bit about the plant. And I'm quite familiar with it from my past profession as a Michigan conservation officer and because it grows on my property. And I've done countless weeks of research on this plant and the Mackinac County Road Commission actually got into a um, legal dispute with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and countless other agencies that um, felt they had jurisdiction such as Army Corps of Engineers. And actually the Mackinac County Road Commission had applied for a application to do work along Epo Flat Bay Road and uh, an adjoining road to remove the silt, which you can see in this brook, it builds up very quickly. And they wanted to maintain drainage because they have a state mandate to maintain drainage to keep travel on roads that they get grant money from the state and the federal government they are expected to keep them in a safe um, travel in a safe and prudent m manner including drainage and this creek and others in this area often flood in the springtime with the snow melting and with the silt filling up in these creeks sometimes it causes flooding it takes out culverts sometimes and actually is flooded over the county road, which is a hydroplaning hazard. And it's actually caused damage to some of my neighbor's homes in their basement because they actually had to buy a new furnace and things like that because of the flooding. But what I wanted to show you is the um, Michigan monkey flower and how adaptive it is to regenerate. Okay, this one right here is actually firmly rooted. There's some little rootlets there that are not firmly rooted, but farther back down the stem, it's rooted into the sand. And there's a difference between the Michigan monkey flower and the James monkey flower. But if you look over here, you can see just this ball of vegetative mass. That actually contains some Michigan monkey flower. And this is how it transports itself to new locations. So I'm not really doing anything that nature wouldn't do itself, but there it goes. And there's lots of other ones here ready to go. So this area was actually dredged by the Mackinac County Road Commission and they caught a lot of flack for that. But actually the Michigan monkey flower requires clear moving water and um, it, it needs to be moving enough that the silt doesn't stop its movement. And so even though they may or may not have broken the law by not getting the proper permit that they had applied for and were denied because of this endangered species, they actually um, may have actually assisted the plant and by improving the drainage. And it may be one of the reasons why this plant thrives here and doesn't thrive in other seepages along Lake Michigan, because this ditch and others are always maintained periodically by the Mackinac Road, Road Commission. So I'm not condoning um, what they did, but I'm also explaining that it's obvious that these plants are thriving here and you can go all up and down this ditch and others and you will see that. And along the edge, um, there is Michigan monkey flower that is firmly rooted and attached and it's not fl free floating. This area was all excavated by the Mackinac County Road Commission a couple years ago. So the plant is not only alive, but it seems to be thriving. Those little 
plants there are all the Michigan monkey flower, and here's a few that look loose. So I'll just show you that. Um, they, some of them will have rootlets that attach like this one, and they purposefully make themselves available to free flow. You can see these little rootlets here, and that will help it transport itself to a new location and help them spread. Oh, here's a good example. Look at this mass right here. Some of these are not attached. They're just sitting there in the creek, the brook, and they're ready to go. So they're gonna go wherever their little heart's content, and they're just floating on down the creek. This happens every single year. A lot of other plants, if they got uprooted like this, it would be the end of them. But in this case, this is how these plants transport themselves. So I wanted to explain that. Hopefully it explains a little bit more, and I plan to do other videos on the Michigan monkey flower. So until next time, get outdoors and go wild.